To install AppleFlix, the first thing we need to do is to go to our settings tab and from there we go into file manager. Go ahead and press on add source and this is the web address that we're going to need. Now once you're copying them from different places you can have issues like this where you don't get all the letters, you get an additional backspace or sometimes you don't copy it correctly. Make sure you get it completely as you can see it to avoid any trouble. It should generally automatically put a name in there and sometimes it puts a name in that isn't very helpful or relevant to what the actual address is. So on this occasion, that's fine. Press OK on that and then go back out to your main start page of Cody. This time go to add-ons and on Cody Krypton 17, this is what we need is this little package icon. And then we tell it to install from a zip file and uh, that's it there, the Mav repo. Inside there will be a zip file that we need to download. Then you go ahead and click on the zip file. Sometimes the notification is so quick you might not see it but it should pop up straight away to let you know it's now installed. We can then tell it that we want to get an add-on from the Maverick TV repo. It's a video add-on and this is a selection that you have here. We're gonna go ahead and install AppFlix. One click, another click here. Wait for it to download. You do on occasion get some extra modules and packs and add-ons downloading with the add-on that you click. That is completely normal. These additional extras are required for your main add-on to function. So do not worry about that. Completely normal. So that's it. Nice and simple guide. Enjoy the content. Let me know in the comments how you got on with the guide. Did it work? Did you enjoy it? Any other add-ons that you're really enjoying using? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for those notifications. See you guys in the next video.